early Sunday morning and we're just out checking the wee project that uh, Jay and I was, were doing yesterday uh, sand traps okay uh, the reason why we did this is tracking um, has led us to the sets and, and, and tracking is a subject that I'm very fond of because I love wildlife and if I can read the signs properly I should be able to follow the paths and source the wildlife that I'm looking for. I've been fortunate to go on a couple of bushcraft courses with NI Survival where Andy and Paul both covered tracking and, and taught me a few basic principles. Um, because of that then I've, I've went and did my own research but to be honest with you the only place you're really going to learn to do tracking properly is in the field. Tracking is like learning to read over again. Uh, you learn to, to read a new language. To learn to read a new language, you have to recognize the symbols. There's no point in me trying to teach you any language in written form if you don't recognize the symbols. And the reason why we did the sand traps is so that we could clearly recognize symbols. We've seen these in, in books. It shows you front paw print, rear paw print of different animals. And, and, and that's brilliant, you know, it really does help. But to actually get it in the field, um, you'll find partial prints out in the wild, you'll find uh, hair strands left behind claw marks, but they're always just bits of the symbol and you then have to learn how to put those all together so that you can read it and recognize it and learn. So what we've done, um, Jade and I came out yesterday with uh, sand and peanuts and we set up two sand traps. Jade's just going to pan around and show you the two of them. So this is the first sand trap and you can see that we just we left a, a pile of peanuts on the surface there and we had a lot of activity last night there's some smaller front pad prints and rear and there's some that are quite bigger but what you'll see here is just clearly with a number of toes unless we've got mutant badgers what this is is a double print this is where an animal's restood over a print again and you can tell a couple of reasons first of all no animal has that many toes but secondly is one part of the print is deeper than the second so the first print may have been caused by the animal actually standing um, on it and the second part by it actually forcing down to step over um, but you can see we have a lot of activity here and we know there's a badger set here so it was very easy to set these traps it was very easy to set these traps up here because we knew what we were going to get but this is just for me and Jade both to, to, to learn to recognize um, the subtleties and the differences between the sign that's left behind by a badger and the signs that are left behind by other animals that inhabit this field. Uh, I'm also trying to teach Jade and myself that whenever we come out into creation we need to learn just to slow things down, to approach it like walking on a big jelly. Every time we put our foot down it sends out ripples and we have to be aware of who's in the field that's going to pick up on those ripples and how that signal is going to affect the animals that are in this area so we just need to slow ourselves down try and find the beat the timing of the, the area that we're in and, and be able just to become uh, part of that beat rather than causing that uh, a chaotic beat uh, just to, to to let everything know that you're in the field if you if you're stumping through a field and you upset a mouse or an insect that's being watched by a bird bird that's a warning call well then the rest of that field now knows that you're there so you need to just slow yourself down uh, to a pace. And there is our first swallow, or swift, too fast to tell with the tail. Second camera trap, or sorry, sand trap, a little bit messier. It was more my fault, I don't have as much sand left, so the, the, the sand was uh, not as deep, so it broke up a bit. But you can also see in here, there's large pad prints a heart shape and you can see the toes in the front you can see a more impressionable pad print there and a bit of chaos going on there's been a bit of movement about this one um, where we left these pad prints um, or these sand pad uh, traps was basically on on paths that we knew the badgers would use but because of their, their sense of smell they weren't going to miss up an opportunity of a handful of free peanuts um, so guys get out into creation um, have a look around, settle yourselves, sit down, be quiet and observe and it won't be long before you see something new, before you hear something new 
uh, before you're aware of, of animals that you weren't aware of before. That's what it's there for, to be enjoyed. Thanks. Mm -hmm.